How's it guys, this is Davey FP and welcome back to the Fantasy Premier League video here on my channel. Now in this video, I'll be taking you guys through my very own chip strategy for the upcoming double and blank game weeks. So yes, it is that time of the year yet again, the time of the FPL season where the double game weeks and the blank game weeks are on the horizon and therefore the chips are going to be activated pretty shortly. Now when should you guys actually use the chips, when are the blanks, when are the doubles going to be happening, don't worry, I've got you guys and I'll be covering all those topics in this specific chip strategy video. Now before we get into the brunt of the video, I want to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer that please, the chip strategy is probably one of the most situational things in the game. So your chip strategy might be different to mine, but that doesn't mean that there's a right and wrong way to use it. For example, the triple captain always advise it to be used at a double game week, but what ends up happening, Erling Haaland only gets 8 points in my double game week, and therefore that's quite a triple captain fail. So there's no right or wrong ways to use the chips, and therefore if you guys have a different strategy to myself, drop it in the comments down below, and you might even convince me to actually use your strategy. Now in this specific video, I'll be going over my own chip strategy, but I'll also be giving you guys some advice on when to use the chips if you have a different kind of combination. And if I don't cover your specific combination, drop in the comments down below on my Discord server, and I'll try to get back to all of you there. But even though an FPL chip strategy is super situational, if you guys want to see my own strategy as well as my own advice, sit back, relax, and let's get straight into it. Now before we get into the actual strategy, I want to give you guys a reminder about double game week 25. So yes, yesterday was actually confirmed. Two fixtures will move to game week 25, therefore making it a double. Now the first fixture was going to be that Wolves versus Liverpool game. And therefore both Liverpool and Wolves have a double game week. Liverpool's double consists of Crystal Palace away, Wolves at home. Whereas vice versa, Wolves have a double game week of Fulham away and Liverpool away as well. Now if you guys want to go for those Liverpool assets, I definitely would pay close attention to them. Also be detailing the upcoming Blank Game Week 28, the Liverpool might still have a fixture depending on tomorrow's FA Cup results. Then next up we saw the Arsenal vs Everton game being moved to Game Week 25. Therefore the Arsenal double consists of Leicester away and Everton at home, whereas Everton have Aston Villa at home but Arsenal away. Now this double game week has opened up a lot of opportunities, maybe even a triple captain opportunity. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But definitely pay some attention to these sides because obviously the double game week might be quite fortuitous. But I'll be talking about this one a little bit later on as well. Now let's get on to the actual format or the upcoming doubles and the blank fixtures. When they're going to be happening, what should you kind of react to them and what chips should be activated in those respective game weeks? Well, let's go over the blank game week, slightly more boring than the doubles, slightly less exciting than the double game weeks, but the blank game weeks are pretty integral to any kind of chip strategy. Now in terms of the upcoming blank game weeks, there are going to be three on the cards. The first one, game week 25, the most close one to us at the current moment, but we knew about this blank game week and hopefully we have prepared for it. The next up is going to be the blank game week 28. This one's going to be quite a big one, I won't lie to you guys. Probably the biggest blank of this season. And if you guys need a strategy or at least have to pay attention to this blank game week. The last blank game week is going to be blank game week 32. And this will be slightly smaller than blank game week 28, but still quite large. Now the reason for these blank game weeks is going to be kind of because of other competitions. Blank game week 25 is because of the EFL Cup Final. We have blank game week 28 because of the FA Cup Quarterfinals. And then finally game week 32 because of the FA Cup Semifinals. So blank game week 25, only four fixtures will be missing from that respective game week. But in terms of game week 28, there's going to be a lot more. And that's how you guys have to prepare for it. Now I won't be detailing kind of the chip strategy right now. I want to give you guys an outline of the blanks and the doubles coming up. Just so that you can kind of paint it in your heads. Now let's switch things up and go to the double game weeks, the more exciting kind of game weeks to target. There are going to be three on the horizon. Yes, there might be some smaller doubles coming up. Game week 26, game week 27, for example. But the monster double game weeks are going to be game week 29, game week 34, and then finally game week 37. Now in terms of the double game weeks, I always like to use my chips in them. This season might be a little bit of a switch up. We might actually wildcard or free it in a double game week, but I'll explain that in a little bit of time. So three doubles, three blanks, or at least three big doubles and three big blank game weeks. How are we going to approach these in terms of our chip strategy? Well, you guys know if you've watched my videos from prior seasons, I love to use a certain graphic from a Mikkel Tokvam or the transfer algorithm over on Twitter. And what he's done here is he showed you the probability of fixtures happening from game week 23 to game week 38. On the right hand side, you can see the sum of the fixtures for the next eight. Then on the far right, the sum of the last eight. And this basically tells you how many fixtures a team has in the first eight to the last eight compared. Now, if a team has a rating of 1.00 or 1 is placed in that respective block, that means they have a confirmed single game week. Anything from 1 to 2, not including 2, is going to be a chance of a double game week, whereas a 2.00 is going to be a confirmed double. Same can be said about the blanks. Anything from 0 to 1, not including 0, is going to be a chance of a blank game week, whereas a dash illustrates a blank game week. For example, in game week 23, you can see Arsenal and Manchester City both have a double game week, whereas in game week 25, Newcastle have a dash or a blank fixture. But don't worry, you don't have to really look at the numbers, you just have to look at the kind of green or the reds. And the reason why I want to show you this image is because I think it graphically paints the picture quite nicely. 
So for example, we spoke about the GameWeek 25, GameWeek 28, and GameWeek 32 blanks. And now you guys can see those GameWeek 25, GameWeek 28, and GameWeek 32 blanks are painted out quite nicely. You guys can also see that GameWeek 28 is obviously a lot bigger of a blank GameWeek than GameWeek 25, and then GameWeek 32 is slightly smaller. Then in terms of the double game weeks, we have game week 25, game week 29, game week 34, and then finally game week 37. Now you guys can also see in between, we do have some smaller doubles that might come up, but definitely game week 29, 34, and 37 are the big doubles. You guys can see on the bottom row, that's kind of the summation of the chance of a double game week, and you can see that game week 29 and game week 34 are going to be the bigger doubles. Now what I also want to add to that is that the fact that this is the biggest double of the season doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use the bench boost, it's really fixture dependent. But still, a nice indication of the biggest doubles and the biggest blanks. So you guys can pause the screen right now or simply go over to Mikkel Tokfam's Twitter page as he has uploaded this picture over there. But now let's move on to some actual trip strategy talk. So the first trip I want to go over is going to be the triple captain because for me, this is the easiest decision to make. You guys don't have to really rely on too many future doubles to go for. In my opinion, there are some close doubles that are actually targetable. Now the first double game week is going to be game week 23 and the obvious pick there is going to be Erling Haaland from Man City, Aston Villa at home and Arsenal away. At least that first game is going to be pretty respectable. Now the reason I think this game is going to be quite nice is that Aston Villa obviously just lost to Leicester 4-2, so it shows that they are conceding a few goals recently, even though they were looking better before that. Now that Arsenal game is obviously off-putting, so if you guys don't want to go for it, I understand, but just remember that Man City have to beat Arsenal to actually stay in the title race. But if you don't want to go for Erling Haaland, you don't really like that Arsenal game, or don't really favour the form of Haaland at the moment, Game Week 25 is open a nice opportunity. Now that opportunity won't be a Mo Salah, I don't really trust uh, Liverpool and Mo Salah at the moment, it's going to be those Arsenal assets and I've selected Bakai Saka with Leicester away and Everton at home. Now those two games look simply outstanding, I think he's a real triple captaincy option if you want to go for him, and the nice thing about Game Week 25 is that there is no kind of European football in and around it. So yes, Asaka and Odegaard and Nketiah could all be viable options, but I personally don't really like them in terms of the f assets. So I think if you guys still do have the triple caps, you can go for 23 or 25, but I want to open another game week that could potentially be used if you guys don't have the bench boost. Now if you guys don't have the bench boost, the reason I'm saying this is that I do think game week 34 or 37 is the best week to use the bench boost, and therefore if you guys still have the triple caps and the bench boost, I'd pick one of the two above games. But if you guys don't have the bench boost, that does offer an opportunity of game week 34 or 37 when the triple captain could be viable. Now the only caveat about that is that we obviously don't know the exact fixtures that are happening in those game weeks, so it's kind of a shot in the dark or a little bit of a risk. But I guess that's something that you guys have to decide what kind of FPL manager are you, are you a more risky one, a more conservative one. I guess the conservative options will go for Haaland this week, whereas the risky ones might take a punt on game week 34 or 37. But if you guys still do have the triple captain, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing, as I am quite interested. Now the next trip to go over is going to be the bench boost and I've kind of already spoiled this because I mentioned in the previous video that I do believe there are two game weeks where you guys should use this chip. Now obviously I always like to go for a double game week so let's bring those doubles coming up, the bigger doubles obviously, game week 29, game week 34 and game week 37. So right now in terms of my own strategy I'm currently looking at 34 or 37, I just believe this might be the best time to use the bench boost and as you guys know I love a wildcard plus a bench boost combination. So this might give you a little bit of insight into where I'm thinking about wildcarding but I might surprise you later in the video. So yes, Game Week 29 might be a perfectly fine Game Week to go for, but if you guys do recall, in terms of the blank Game Weeks, we do have Game Week 28 just before it. So I'll explain what I mean about that in terms of my kind of free strategy as well as the fixture plan. I think Game Week 28 might be a dead end Game Week. So that's why I personally prefer Game Week 34, Game Week 37, but obviously any other week, even a single Game Week, if you have a good bench, you can still use the chip. Now the second last trip to go over is going to be all about the Friat and I want to bring up Mikkel Tokfam's diagram yet again just because it graphically depicts the fixture schedule quite nicely. Now the one thing I want to point out in terms of the blank plus the double is going to be blank game week 28 to double game week 29 and the reason I wasn't thinking about using the bench boost in 29 is I don't think you have enough time to prepare for it. So what I think most people are doing and currently what I'm thinking about doing is kind of dead ending my team into game week 28. What dead ending kind of means is that I know I'm in a wild card or free it after that, so I can simply select any players that are featuring in that blank game week. It's a massive blank game week, so therefore a dead end might be perfectly viable, as you don't necessarily want those options for the game weeks after that. So that's one strategy to go for. There's kind of three ways to deal with the blank. You can use a chip such as a free it or wild card. Number two, you can dead end. Or number three, you can simply play with the less than 11 players. So I'm going with option two there. I'm choosing to dead end, and therefore in game week 29, I could potentially use the wild card or the free it. So let's pencil game week 29 as a potential free at game week because I personally think I might use this as a free at in a double game week might be quite exciting. Now in terms of the trip strategy I really do think the free at and the wild card are super dependent on each other and therefore when you use the one is going to be dependent on when you use the other. 
So another game week I could potentially use the free at end is going to be a more traditional blank game week, and that's going to be blank game week 32. The reason for that is if I do choose to wildcard before that, I don't really want to bring in some blank game week options, and therefore the blank game week 32 might negate the risk of those blanks. So let's say I wildcard in game week 29, game week 30, or game week 31. I don't have to prepare for game week 32 on that wildcard. That obviously opens up some space or some flexibility in terms of the bench boost in game week 34 or game week 37. So in terms of the free hit, I'm going to be going for game week 29 in a nice double game week after dead ending my team in game week 28, or what I'll do is I'll use it in game week 32 after wildcarding. Now the last trip to go over is going to be the second wildcard, and I just mentioned that the free hit and the wildcard go hand in hand. That's exactly what you guys have to consider on your chip strategy. So the one game week that I could use the wildcard is yet again double game week 29 after dead ending my team into 28. I want a fresh squad there. If I use the wildcard, I can get the best 11 for double game week 29. Then going into game week 32, I can use the free hit, and then come game week 34 or 37, the bench boost will be activated. So game week 29 might be a nice opportunity after dead ending your team and then wildcarding is a perfect strategy. However, now you can't get that wildcard plus the bench boost combination. Why that's so important is that then you can kind of navigate your bench quite nicely and you can simply optimize the bench boost as far as possible. So if I choose to kind of go for that strategy of a wildcard plus a bench boost, I can either go for game week 30 to game week 33 for my wildcard. Now obviously I've penciled in here quite a long range, game week 30 to game week 33, four game weeks to use it in, but I want to give myself enough time to kind of adjust to that blank game week 32 fixture. So basically what I'm saying here is that I could wildcard in game week 29 and then use the free it in game week 32, or what I might do is free it in 29 and wildcard from game week 30 to game week 33, depending on that blank game week 32 and how my team is setting up. Then in game week 34, probably use the bench boost, I love that combination, very close to each other, and then come game week 37, hope that my wildcard team is still looking quite strong. So I know that was quite confusing, so please go and replay this video if I was talking too quickly or you kind of didn't grasp the concept, otherwise ask me in the comments down below for any advice. I'll be doing a deadline stream on Saturday, so if you do have any questions for the live stream, you guys can pop by. I really don't mind answering any kind of chip strategy questions in that live stream. But now let's go back to the original graphic from Mikko Tokvim. I want to talk to you guys through the conclusion of my chip strategy yet again. So in terms of my current plans, I've got two. These are kind of situational depending on how the teams and the fixtures do set up for those upcoming blanks and those doubles. So right now, the one strategy to go for is free hitting in game week 29. I therefore would wildcard probably game week 33, bench boost game week 34, and then game week 37 take it as it comes. Or another strategy to go for is kind of wildcarding in 29, therefore free hitting in 32, and then bench boosting in 34, 37. But a similarity between both those two kind of plans is kind of dead ending into blank game week 28, and that's what I would suggest you guys do as well if you do have the three chips. If you do have a triple captain, I think game week 23 or game week 25 is perfectly viable. Otherwise, take a risk if you don't have the bench boost and go for game week 34, 37. But let me know in the comments down below what your chip strategy is going into the upcoming game weeks. Now, the final talking point to go over is going to be none other than a shout out to Ben Krellen. If you guys did see Mikkel Tokfam's kind of diagram is based on Ben Krellen's. And that's why I want to give a shout out to the OG Ben Krellen as well. Now on screen right now, you guys see a little bit of a more condensed kind of fixture planner from game week 23 to game week 32. And now you guys also see the fixtures and the potential doubles, so you guys can plan for the medium term. Once again, you can see that game week 28 blank might be a big one. Game week 29 is going to be a nice double game week, and that's how I want to use a chip in it. Then game week 32 might be a free, it might not be. And if you do choose to wildcard in game week 33, I'll probably dead into 32 as well. But I hope you guys have found this video useful. As I said, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below, or ask me on my Discord server, link in the description as well. But this is basically a wrap of the video guys, hope you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like if you did it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll be seeing you guys for more videos as well as the team selection coming up tomorrow, so make sure those bell notifications are on. But I'm going to be signing off, this has been Davey FPL and I'm out, cheers, bye.